Yo. 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 Oh, he's got the... Th- Yo. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to stop that. Say a few words, Dan. Toss. Like, say Best a toast. sentence. Best. This is me, Daniel, speaking currently to everybody right now. <laughs> he's got the effect on your yeah, voice. Yeah, he's got effects on your voice. What effect is on my voice? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Okay, okay. I can live with that. <laughs> no, you got to turn that off. Yeah, dude. no, I'm going to turn that off. <laughs> That's fucking <laughs> cool. You could keep this in, though. There. So you sound a little there. bit more normal now. Um, check, 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 check. Check one, two, one, two. Check, 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 check. Let's turn that bitch up. Crank that shit to 11. My headphones, not the volume. Is it USB Chi? Yeah. I have one in my bag, but. Oh, dude, I hate. Has anyone else noticed that Apple gives you the fucking cord without the fucking dongle? No. Yeah, dude, we've talked about that on yeah. this podcast. Yeah, Does I anyone know. else hate that Apple? Yeah. I think you guys shit on Apple all the time. It's hard to keep up. From Rixie, this is Debuff, and I'm your host, Steve Skeels. <laughs> Mason, Steve, and Sean. Hey, man. This is Steve Buff. This is Steve Buff. This is, this Steve is Buff. Dan Buff today. This is Dan Buff. No, I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, coming to chill. Coming Dan's to hang out with us. the boys. Why don't you come chill? Bro, just why don't I, you I mean, come chill? Dan's chilling with I, us from Florida via Zoom. Yeah. I mean, that's the only way I can chill with you right now. Well. I wish I could be there, though. But that would be cool. Dan, you don't hear the, uh, you don't hear the sound effects, do you? Nope, but that's okay. I know they're there. <laughs> okay, good. <clears throat> Just wondering. Just if I start laughing for no fucking reason, yeah, that's why. That's why. Oh, no, I, I love it. Um, so, yeah, how's it going, Dan? What's it like it's in good, Florida man. right now? It's, uh, it's good. I was just uh, Dan should be a like, bit ago. Right, like right there. I guess technically right there, above Sean's head. You'll figure Say that it out. again, sorry. Uh, it's all good. I was just telling them before uh, we kicked this off that I'm actually moving to Jacksonville from where I'm at now. So that's going to be pretty cool. I thought you were already in Jax. Nah, nah, nah. I'm a little south, bro. Do you just dox yourself? I don't give a fuck. We're going to come for you, dude. Jacksonville's a big city. Somebody knows where we live after all the hints we've given. Yeah, Jacksonville's a big city, man. (laughs) It is. It's actually the biggest city in most of the United States. In the world. In most Uh, of the United States. I don't know about the world. I think it, I, it might be the biggest city in the United Dan, States. Dan, I think you're lying. By like landmass or like? By landmass. Okay. Wait, bro, are you lying? Um, one sec, one sec. That could be We're, true. Uh, wow, this. okay. Jacksonville is the most populous city in Florida and the largest city by area in the con- in the United States. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I thought it was New York. Not wow, Dan, con- you're so con- fucking The cool, word dude. I was trying to say I'm was living con- in the big city, boys. Contiguous. Nice, Contiguous, you know. I'm, I'm a big city Dan now. Yeah. No, um, bro, just grew up come there. Back to Susan, Virginia, dude. Susan got a new, got an upgrade job up in. Uh, oh, that's great. More she like she leveled up. Big so. shitty Dan. Yeah, Congrats, big shitty. Susan. Going to the big city. Yeah, Good man. luck with moving. It's Don't ask cool. me to come help. Yeah, no, 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 no help. Not no moving any more pianos. Oh, you know what I thought? Yeah, I know, bro. What'd you think? you <laughs> guys, you guys could join the Zoom call, and you could see him. Let's I don't do have that. A Zoom account. Let's do that. Oh, you don't? No, no, dude. I haven't had to use it. Well, the face you gave quick. him when he no. said he I'm, didn't I'm have good, a man, Zoom bro. account. You don't want to look at Dan? Dude, I'm going to see his face when I watch the video. Yeah, so you're moving to Jacksonville. That's great. Yeah. What's uh, Yeah, bro. Is Susie's new job, like, way better? I mean, it's it's uh, Nordstrom full line as opposed to the rack, as they call it. Dude, the rack. I like the whack, as they call it. Good for her, man. But no, it's pretty cool. Good, man. Yeah. She's moving up. Moving on. Moving on down. What about yeah. you? Are you gonna stay in the same? Yeah, I'm still gonna be working in Jack, so it'll be it'll be closer. Oh, that's you know, great! I'll just be closer. Nice. And I don't have to commute all the time. That's What's cool. What's up with you nice. boys? This just isn't chill, about me. Just, just big chilling, chilling dude. You know, just big time chilling. Always big chilling. Um, Always. if we're if we look above the camera, if you see us look above the camera a lot, it's because we have these new monitors. I'll maybe put them on screen. Um, but man, they look fucking awesome. It's like so because we were looking at these tiny little. LCD screens, and now we have a seven-inch screen each on top of the camera. Yeah, Sean, and it's why don't like, you just throw that in? The oh, Discord? actually, people are probably going to get to see a little bit of Steve in our. In, do you see that, Sean? No. Uh, above your head, you see Steve in the in the monitor. 
Oh, yeah, I do, actually. Right Steve, here. you can actually pinch to zoom. Just bl- pinch go right, to zoom. right into my face. Can you face. pinch to zoom on you? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> pinch, actually, pinch that's it. That's kind of dope. <laughs> just have, like, Steve there. Just slowly, just, like, kind of oh, off shit. time. That's, I forgot how wide the lens is. I know. It's super right. fucking wide. All right. Uh, but, yeah, that's if we're looking above the screen a lot, that's what we're looking at. We're gonna look at Dan. We're not looking at like handlers that are like you know say the right thing. I'm gonna get this show on the road, boys. All right. Yeah. Uh, The fact that you said we're not looking at handlers makes it seem like we're looking at you're looking at handlers. (laughs) What's a handler? Like you know somebody who is like telling us how to act. Oh oh, Oh. yeah okay like your manager or whatever. Exactly. Exactly. Um, We ain't got those. Can I, I'll start. I'm going to start. Go for it, dude. Go ahead and start. So the weirdest thing happened on YouTube for me. And a part of me makes – a part of me feels like a loser. And the other part of me feels like I kind of discovered this, like, really weird Oh, I just closed my laptop. Thing <laughs> about – oh, Sean just <laughs> exited. I, I don't care. Um, and so, so here's what happened. I was at, I was adding videos to my watch later and – I was noticing for like a couple days that they weren't showing up. And so I was like, oh, maybe, you know, maybe I was on the Rixie account because like I'm logged in there sometimes. And I was like, oh, maybe I was adding them to the wrong account. And I go to my uh, watch later and I f- see that my watch later has 5,000 videos. I was going to say you're it. full. And I just found out this week that the watch later has a playlist limit. You can't add more than 5,000 videos. Why to would you got need to add more than Well, so here's I'm the thing. surprised you, you hit the here's cap, Here's the thing. Though, bro. The only way, as far as I'm concerned, I'm, I, I, maybe this isn't true, but the only way you can remove them is on desktop. Is that correct? Because I've never been able to do it on mobile. I've yeah, never I don't think you can. tried on mobile. And so I, I, I used to do the thing where it was like remove watched videos. But... Um, yeah, and I think you can only do that on the de- on the desktop. I just wish that was like self policing. You know what I mean? Like, why don't they? Yeah, like, I, no, I can do say. it on my phone. Watch later. Like after you watch it. Oh, you can. Yeah, dude. Why? Like, oh, you can. Like oh, you can. after you watch it, shouldn't it like automatically be like? But what if you want to watch okay. it later? So that's again. the thing. If you want to watch, you it watched again. it already later. Yeah, though. but you might like, later want to watch it. Watch it. Later well, then twice. you need to add again it again later. to your watch later list. Right now, there is a button here, dude. Fuck that. I don't think Netflix removes your watch later. So. But, Ten years of YouTube, Mason still can't use it. It's okay. Well, the crazy ten thing years. to me, oh, I mean, e- easily ten years. No, I know it's easy probably been years. longer than that, yeah. bro. You've been um, probably. Like I was 13. just being conservative with the estimate. Yeah, yeah, that was a long time ago. Uh, the crazy thing to me was uh, when I did remove watched videos. It removed twenty five hundred videos. Oh yeah, Half and of them. dude, that really hurt my psyche a little bit because I was like, "That's a lot of fucking videos that I watched, and probably most of them I've already forgotten about, and that's a lot of wasted time." So hold on, but one is it really wasted time? But two, y'all be always talking about how most of the content you like to consume is through YouTube. So of course, I'm not even surprised it's twenty five hundred. I'm kind of like. More surprised that there's another 2,500 in your watch later that you're probably not getting to. <laughs> yeah. Well, the funny thing is, I don't know if this is with you, same with you, Sean, but there's like a list of like the first 10 or 15 on my watch later from when I first started using it that I'm like, I'm never going to watch that fucking video. Like, like one of them's like it's about Rick and Morty, and it's like, I'm, dude, I'm not watching that. And then it's like a documentary. It's like things that like I should just manually remove, but I just don't. Yeah, that's what well, happens. So I have easy. I have four videos in my watch later, dude. It's, I abuse watch. Later. I have about two hundred. Yeah, I know you have a lot. Too. You only have two hundred. I Sean, oh, you remo- hold you on. Clear them. Okay, Sha- I was gonna say Sean does go watch them later. I, I do them. watch them later because I've seen him do that while we're on the couch. Like, oh, I know Daniel or Steve don't care about this. He yep. clicks watch later, and then I come out like the next day, and he's watching that video. Yes, no, not always the, the next move. day, but that's a hundred percent. That's the move, the move dude. Uh, but. He stays watching later. But see, I always forget to clear it out. <laughs> I I don't think I've cleared it out like in years. Yeah, obviously, for sure. 5,000. So I would think it's like a psychological thing. You know, they. I think you could equate it to like the, the wet floor sign. You know what I mean? 
Like I don't if know you leave you the wet floor sign out for too long, people will just walk by it without even caring. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, but I use the watch later every single I, day. I just want you to know if yeah, you Yeah, but a, how long were those in your list like first? If, that you still haven't removed I, them yet? I mean, I won't lie to you, man. I think there's one in there that I've had in there since I've had a YouTube account yeah, that I've no, just there's straight exactly. up never watched. Again, yeah. I know this is not really you how can it works. You with you, it being there. You do this probably depends on what you're doing. You might be sitting on YouTube and add a bunch, but I just did it uh, real quick on the calculator. If you added one a day, that's almost 14 years. That Every day you're adding one. Again, I know that's not <laughs> what you were doing. You probably Jeez. sat there and writing like I've been at on 10 YouTube at a time. That but that's what I'm saying. I, I mean, the Rick and Morty one was clearly like you know more recent than that, but I'm just saying there were days where you added more than one. But oh, yeah, dude, there's days I had like 5,000 divided videos. by 365, dog. Uh, like, let me see. Well, I, I just don't like. I don't know how you do it though, because I hate that it sorts by the first added. So you have to scroll through five thousand videos. No, 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 dude. I sort by newest. Yeah, fourteen years ago. Did is when you I just teach Sean, Sean something about it? You don't sort by newest. No, Are I you scroll. kidding? I just scroll. You're kidding. I only have two hundred in here. Oh, that's only okay. two hundred. Yeah, yeah he's see, got a point. no, only I'm at the point where I'm like, bro, if it's not sorting by newest, like, you know, what's the point? I don't know. Dude, I, I have four. I scroll through and I'm like, is there anything that I haven't watched yet that I want to watch? I do do that. I do, I do, do, do that. that. I do do that. He do do I that. Mean, all right. So does anyone? I mean, are we? I have a topic on the on. Yeah, that's ba- that's basically. I got. I have something that has to do with YouTube. Is I guess what I'm trying to say. Okay. Um, I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna share my screen real quick since we can do that now. Oh uh, yeah, that we should low key be doing this like every time. <laughs> like just like dude, <laughs> so you can just like share your screen. We don't even have to record it. So I can just watch Sean on Twitter the whole time? Yeah. Have, can you guys see this? <laughs> yes. Oh, you t- oh, you're going to talk about this. Okay. Have you guys ever seen this image show up on your recommended? I, no. I, I know. Mason yes, has. I think so. On my recommended on what? YouTube. YouTube? My recommended? Uh, no. Dan? No, I don't think I have. No. All right. I'm surprised. It looks like a point. It looks adventure. familiar. So It looks familiar. I, well, it could be. It could be familiar. Um. Basically, oh, doubles. I, I don't doubles know. Are you able to? Uh, are you still you able to see my screen? Stop share at the top. Yeah, I don't know you why. See, stop share, share at the again. top. You have oh. to. Can you see my screen? Uh, just Am I do, sharing? I feel like do, a fucking boomer. You did it. Do share desktop. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> you did it, boomer. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, it's uh, it's gone now. Um, so that video showed up on my recommended like years ago. All right. Um, it was uploaded in. It was uploaded in 2014. It has 3.7 <laughs> million views. It is almost, if you think about it, all, the name's all in Japanese. The guy who uploaded its name is Taya777. There's no description to the video. Um, it has 3.7 million views, 14,000 comments. Um, and the internet has kind of like dubbed this video... Um, a checkpoint like in a video game and so like if you hit this video or you see this video you're supposed to go in to the comment section and leave a comment about what's going on in your life and there's you know 14,000 people have done this this guy had uh, a handful of videos probably like 30 videos that were uh, recently uh, probably three or four months ago uh hit with a copyright strike by Nintendo because a lot of them had video game music in it from Nintendo uh, franchises. Yeah. But that one that I just shared the screen uh, about is uh, a song from Chrono Trigger that's on a loop for 59 minutes and 44 seconds. So it's just like this really bizarre corner of the internet. There's a whole subreddit dedicated to this guy. Explain to Dan what you mean by checkpoint because I... It's hard no, if you no, I don't. I think I get it. Well, no, I mean, so like Dan it, plays games. Yeah, I mean, like a, a video game dude, checkpoint. No, he does. Like, all right? sorts like, of games. You, yeah, Dan doesn't fucking like play a save games. state, right? Uh, and I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I think it's just interesting that you can go in here and look at you know fourteen thousand comments of people, you know, kind of like dumping their, you know, life. I kind of love that. I don't, I don't understand. Like, why. has anyone Google translated the title? That's what I was gonna say. I think it's what, just is says it just the Chrono Trigger. Chrono song? Trigger. Let me see. I think it probably says the song. 
Uh, well, then what triggered it yes. to be this like check? What chrono trigger? Corridor of that's time, one hour. Yeah, what <laughs> that's what I'm wondering is what, why, how did I miss that one? <laughs> why are people doing this? Well, like who decided that? I, I don't know. I, I mean, did. but yeah, yeah, it yeah, happened on pretty much all of his videos. Like they were doing this on a lot of his videos. Um, like there's one of like a Pokemon battle theme that's on for like an hour. Anyway, Nintendo copyright st struck their videos. Uh, he, whoever this person is who uploaded them, uh, had to remove the videos. Uh, there's a subreddit dedicated to him, as I said, but somebody who was an internet archivist archived all of the videos that were taken down from Nintendo, and you can find them on another website. So, um, they also so those get hit by Nintendo. He also uh, <laughs> um, downloaded and archived all of the comments from those videos. That's dope. So uh, it's it's just kind of weird to think about that. It's like a little uh, like time capsule almost. Yeah, it's now. like a diary. Well, I mean, the ones that have been deleted are now just weird time capsules, right? But the, the the ones that are still up, yeah, I mean, obviously they're like ongoing, and people are still writing. I I have no idea the reason why this happened, right? I just find it yeah, super interesting because it's not like you can just search. I mean, if I go to yeah, I mean, I will say, are all the comments in English? Yeah, almost all of them are. Okay, because uh, you know, other countries so like use YouTube, so I'm thing. not surprised by like it all being Japanese or whatever. But it's one of those weird internet mysteries. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure there's a little bit more explanation than I'm giving. Um, but if I just typed in Chrono Trigger Music and there's an English version of Chrono Trigger Corridors of Time One Hour Loop that's uploaded by someone else, but it's not the same, and I'm not even... Oh, there we go. So I don't know if it's just me, because I've already watched the video, but it, it did show up about halfway down the page. People also watched but I mean, it was just randomly recommended to me. That's what I don't get. Like years ago, and I watched it on the TV. And then the the way I found out about it again was I, I watched it years ago on the TV. Didn't read the comments because I was watching it on the television. Uh, turned it off after about five ten minutes because I was like, "This is a cool song. I like the video. Whatever." Left, started watching something else. And then somebody posted a screenshot of what I sh shared with you guys on Twitter and was like. What do you guys think about this? And I was like, holy shit, I've seen that picture like years ago. What is that from? And someone had linked it in the comments, and I was like, oh my god, that's right. That's this song. Oh is it god. from Chrono Trigger? Yeah. Quarters I mean, of Time? The, the picture. I mean, oh, the, I don't know the what the picture's from. I haven't, unfortunately, that's a gap in my RPG career, so I have I couldn't tell you, but it looks like. <laughs> you have a pretty extensive <laughs> RPG career. I'm just but. saying, it looks like some of the concept artwork I've seen. Of some stuff from Chrono Trigger, so I don't know, but what I I just searched Corridors of Time, and it is like, like you said, partway down the page, and you know above that Smooth McGrooves cover of it, so check that out. But also like, that's <laughs> that's pretty cool. I I don't know that type of stuff always weirds me out. Like you said, like who How who decide start? to start yeah. that? Like that's just yeah. such a crazy. And, and then one thing and, I'll say about it is I I mean if you're watching this and you go check that video out, please don't go in and shit all over it like. And write stupid shit in the comments. Like I, I don't think you guys would, um, you know. But write that I, on our our videos instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shit on our videos. You know That's what it reminds me shit. of? It reminds me of like, have you ever seen those like bridges in Amsterdam with like the lock on it? I don't know what you're talking about at all. Never I've never been to Amsterdam. Yeah, I mean, dude, we've all been there, you know. Oh, wait a minute. I, dude, like, are you talking about the chain link fence? Well, yeah, it's like, or yeah. there's oh, bridges. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There's Where one they, of those. They, like, that, like put, uh, like, a lock, and it's like, I'm in love, and they throw away the key. Oh, know? yeah, There's yeah, a yeah, local yeah, winery this. that has those. Like, oh, really? For, yeah. Or, like, there's, I'm, that's, this is gross, that's but there's, like, a gum wall somewhere in the U.S. I mean, that's gross. That's gross, but this reminds me of the locket, like, you know. It's a digital locket wall or gum wall. Yeah, it just feel yeah, it's like this yeah, it's this very messed up I, like I digital just, way of doing it. I, I want to know what this guy thinks or fe female or male or or whatever. They are probably like what the fuck did I start? I, I mean, it's weird, dude. There's literally no you Probably don't even know. about there's no community, there's no playlist, there's no only his videos. I I mean, it's like a blank YouTube page basically. He has no picture uploaded. Taya seven seven seven, just these random videos, and 
I mean, I don't know. It's like weirdly nostalgic to watch the video, even if you've never played the game or seen the image. It just has like a weird nostalgia vibe. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, I just thought that was pretty interesting. And uh, again, if you do go check out the video and you want to leave a checkpoint note, please do. But please be respectful to those who are, you know, actually using this in a in a meaningful way to them. Just thought I was a yeah, Dan, you fucking asshole, dude. God, God damn it! I'm sorry, dude. Yeah. So I mean, just thought that was interesting and wanted to share with the class. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, that's dope. neat. It's really cool. No, it's cool. It's interesting that they they picked that particular thing for like the the checkpoint i just thought it was cool like the people who, who would go in there and be like oh this is going on in my life you know and then like you know what else everybody else is fucking doing it's just weird there's like this weird ethereal save point in life where they're just like yeah just just write this yeah yeah I mean, and somehow they all know to write this i don't i don't know if it like started from just one person doing it and then everyone else following along or if the subreddit like I mean, the subreddit was created in January twenty, uh, January twentieth, twenty twenty, so it's only a, a year and a half old, basically. A uh, year and nine months, actually. Today, today, today. Yeah. Happy birthday! Um, but yeah, those videos were taken down about four four <laughs> months ago. Perfect. Someone has already archived them. I've started to download them all just because I'm. Sean's a new a little internet archivist over here. Honestly, I wish I had enough. Yeah fucking terabytes Next thing you know he'll just have servers what in his house Bro, in the i garage. do have a i do have a nas sitting and waiting for me to set up but Gee. we ripped out all the, or you ripped out all the hard my drives. question is no. is it archivist a, or one. is it archivist <laughs> I, I think it's archivist i don't know and i archive i imagine it's not archivist, i think it's archivist but i think it's archivist, archivist sounds I'm like bad at language, language, did, I say, did so i say archivist i did oh internet archivist dude internet i'm not good ar- at archiver words. i think that archiver. sounds weird though dude Archivist. Archivist, yeah, but I think it sounds fucking badass. That's yeah. some D and D shit. I've been trying to play this. Holy Jesus fucking Christ. shit! Archivist. Why is that so loud? Why is that so Excuse loud? Excuse me, Google. It's archivist. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Well, um, now I know. It's one of those words fucking screamed it in my ears that I've read and like never heard, other than other other people saying it, probably also incorrectly. So, anyways. Anyways. That's pretty neat. Anyways, what's going on with you, Dan? You gonna you playing yeah. any games? I have something that like kind of ruined a lot of people's day like in the past couple of weeks. Like a lot of us use Discord. I know you guys use Discord. We have the debuff Discord. Go check it Good out. Plug. It's funny shit in there. But if you guys didn't have some of the bots that they have for Discord, oh yeah. Do you guys know what I'm what I'm starting yeah, to get at? Yeah, you mentioned it. So I've just never so Rhythm bot. Uh, there's one called Hydra. There's uh, another couple of them um, that a lot of people use for music on Discord. They used to basically it was a bot you would uh, bring into your channel in Discord and it would play like a person talking, but it would play like like YouTube videos of like music or like whatever you wanted it to play. Basically, you just type in the link to that with like a you know a command like exclamation part play, and then the link. And it, or you could just do rough descriptions and it would do like a Google search for that YouTube video and then just pop it up in that um, in that channel basically for you. So in the past like two weeks, they were shut down by YouTube due to some uh, license agreement Why? issues. Dude, the Why? Thing I, After uh, five years. Is this like the Roblox thing? of running? I, I have a, a feeling that somehow it was bypassing advertising. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's the only reason. That's I could yeah, see it. that's the reason I think it was probably shut down because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I could see that as well, but I just thought that was so like monumental because a lot of people are coming in and they're getting in their Discord channel on the weekend and like they type, oh man, I'm gonna listen to this song right now. And they type that shit in, doesn't even fucking play. Yeah, I will say I did not know it was until you said it. I think it's a cool idea. I just feel like the only time I get on discord like voice channels is to like play games with friends and i've never yeah put music on in the background for us to share yeah. so well yeah uh like my group of friends we always have a, a music bot playing while we're gaming together what do you, you guys know, use sometimes? now uh we don't use one anymore yeah. because youtube took them all away from yeah. us i mean i think with the i think with discord you can use spotify right you can what? listen to someone else's yeah, Spotify. Yeah, you can do that. But 
Yeah. I mean, I don't have Spotify. Yeah, whenever yeah. I'm list- whenever I'm in Discord and I have it shows Spotify, the- yeah. it says that I'm listening to something. Yeah, yeah. Spotify and them have some sort of agreement. But uh, you can actually do like listening Sounds parties like with Discord with and Google had some there. sort of disagreement. There's some disagreement. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely sucks. I mean, yeah. they had a bad <laughs> discourse. I know <laughs> that can be cool. Like, I, I don't know if you've ever uh, done it, Dan, but in Roll20, you have like the jukebox you can set up. Yeah, 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 and yeah. And that's yeah. cool. I tried it a couple times, but uh, what'd you like, put on the jukebox? Well, Ed wrote yeah, a, what'd you put a song. On the jukebox? <laughs> And you just looped it. <laughs> well, I put it. It was like a tavern song. So the yeah. first time they got into like a bar or an inn or whatever it was, um, after he sent me the file, I started playing it because you can actually set it up in Roll Twenty where it'll play when you go to like a screen or something. That's so dope. So I did That's that, super and then I cool. put like the Final Fantasy like battle music and victory theme in there and stuff, and some Elder Scrolls tracks. And I was messing with it for a little while, but it's weird because you have a volume control on your side, but then everyone else also has one so i was like trying to get the sound right and then dylan was like yeah i just turned it off because i couldn't figure out how to hear you guys and do it so i just stopped but <laughs> like thanks dude but anyways i'm saying like i can see for certain things where it could be cool for stuff like that people use discord for a lot of different shit or like you said just gaming but normally i'm like trying to hear the game and my friends so i never thought to try something yeah. like that you know, it's just a little background noise yeah, you know, somebody yeah wants that's, to throw on some... i mean that's something that i wish we could do more of is play music like, I would love to, like, sit here and have, like, a segment about, like, these are some new songs that me and Sean have been listening to, you know? But, like, you just can't. I mean, you can say the name and you can link to it, but, like... Yeah. That's, I mean, just start I, I, listening to royalty-free music all the time. I still don't understand how TikTok gets away with it. Like, I have no fucking idea. I feel like, is it well, not because it's, like, user-uploaded stuff that, like... It might be no, no. fair use. The thing is, if you go on TikTok and you start a video through the application, TikTok, your video, I think, can only be 15-ish seconds, 20 seconds. Just wait. And... When you select a song, that's all that plays is that 15 to 30, se- 30 second clip. It depends on the song. Then. From somebody who uploads, you get, uh, it depends on what the artist chooses. Some artists say you can only use 15 seconds, or you can o- only use 30, or you can use the whole song, or you can use a minute. And because the problem that I'm running into with YouTube with shorts is that you can only do 15 seconds of any song. But TikTok, the reason that they get away with music is because when we were uploading music as a company, you chose if you wanted to put your music on TikTok. Well, what about people that clearly uploaded their own shit? How does that work? What do you, what do you mean? Okay, uh, you, definitely can't, you can't make a... You can't... Never mind. When I first started TikTok, uh, when I was making them with Lena, I th- think you could only make 15 to 30 second ones, but you can do up to three minutes now. Yeah, yeah they changed the time, yeah, yeah. but I'm saying they definitely clicked on a sound and it'll be like the name of the song is not what the song is. Yeah. It's mostly been like soundtracks for stuff where I click on it and it's like... The user's name who uploaded it? Yeah, like not... I, I, I just... It, it still doesn't make down. sense to me. I well, sure, yeah, but I'm sa- I've seen it like... I think some of it has been... Uh, Probably well, forget everything I said about TikTok. What I said was wrong. Right. Well, Don't dude, listen to Sean about it's TikTok. so funny that you guys are talking about that because on TikTok, I found this thing uh, recently, like yesterday or the day before, of somebody talking about like that issue. And uh, here, here it is. I can, let me put it on. Fuck me. Are you talking to me? <laughs> Just Susan? hold it up to the fucking yeah. mic, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. You muted me, but I could hear you. We so I just got now. home I and I wanted it. to see if any of my appeals I, I put it. in on my muted Twitch videos had been accepted or denied. Well, another one has been muted and this one was a lot longer and had a lot more sections muted. All of these here are muted sections in my video. As you can see, it's muted because the track Yakovlev 42 intro was used. Well, right here is Yakovlev 42 and here's the track intro. They just stole Dragonborn, put it on their album, and now they're muting videos that are using it on Twitch. So after I put up my first video, I tweeted out at Twitch, Bethesda, Xbox, and Sean Baptiste, who's the PR and stream manager over at Bethesda. Sean Baptiste actually reached out to me and asked if I could send him more information through email, so I'm gathering that up all right now, because this isn't right that some band can steal the Dragonborn song, put it on their album, and then start muting people's videos because they stole music. 
How wild is that? Somebody I'm, put it in the background of their album, and now they're copyright striking people. Yeah, I'm wondering a how they even did that, got away with that sampling or whatever, like you can do to an extent, right? But you have to get the rights. Is that well? No, we talked about this the other week. What, yeah, I think what they did was they just because Spotify. That's what he showed is not perfect. Yeah, well, it doesn't catch everything. I will also say though is are they manually going out and silencing or is it like one of those things where I know with YouTube it will like come up that it knows that that's what's being played or whatever and they can just basically well, auto strike everything like not Well so Tanner told bot, me but, once with his last release he paid to have like if somebody uses his song without permission uh yeah. that it will like send essentially like a takedown. Yeah. Um, so you can pay for it. So I, I assume that's what this person did. But isn't that fucking wild? Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. That pe- I had this epiphany about this possibly happening, but I never thought it would, where people would like upload somebody else's song and then copyright strike it, and then they're like, well, it's here, it's in my song, which is copyrighted as well, and then it gets in this whole fucking shit legal battle. But I just thought that was crazy, because that's right in the vein of what we're talking about, you know? Yeah, that's weird. Gimes. Yeah. So uh, that's crazy too because I've had my my uh, Twitch strike before for and muted uh, on some fucking royalty free music. So <laughs> that's uh, not really <laughs> that's whack. Yeah, that's fucking. But bullshit. they have like a bot that like automatically mutes like large sections of your vod. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, how do I know what was wrong? You know, they they don't tell you what was wrong with it. They don't tell you the they song. They just mute like, the whole fucking thing. Shut your bitch ass up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just mute it w- without even telling well, you. Well, Twitch got ridiculous. We don't even get into that because it's old, but with the whole, like, video game music even was getting mad strikes. And it's like people are just playing games, and now some games have been, like, saying, like, coming out and we won't take you down on Twitch for playing our games. It's stupid. Yeah. Or there's, I- like, a... No music mode or whatever and stuff just so that you don't get... It's ridiculous. It's so funny to me that, like, I can go pay $60 for a video game and then stream me playing the video game on the internet. But I can't buy a a $20 movie and stream me watching the movie on the internet. Well, I think it it, it is weird (laughs) because Nintendo was even worse about it before with, like, people streaming the games because Nintendo is Nintendo and they're going to do whatever. But uh, I think part of it is that games you can see that more as like advertisement whereas a movie you can just watch the movie and never see it again but if i see someone playing a game and they're entertaining i might say let me pick up that game or yeah whatever and especially some streamers do things where they have like you know community where they'll play games with them and stuff like that that i've just watched people play games that i know i'd never want to play yeah but if you watch someone streaming a movie How's that any different? If if you like the movie, you might want to watch. Buy it. Yeah, but maybe you watched it and then you're never going to watch it again. Games, I think it's different. I think it's different because uh, playing a game, everybody has a slightly different experience, and they play it like differently. Yeah, I mean, watching the movie, you can't change anything about it. Even if it's a linear, like Hmm. no, you can't Hmm. play it differently. Like a visual novel, we'll just say no. No one here is into visual novels, but if you're gonna do that, no one. You watch someone play, like you might still be like, I want to be, I want to be in on that. I want to do it manually, even if there's not like any differences and choices you make for a game. Like there's a just the interaction of playing is different than watching a movie. So no matter what, if you watch a movie once, you might be done with it forever. But if you see someone play a game and it's yeah. awesome, you see the whole thing get done. Oh, I want to do that too. I feel like I'd have a fun time. Yeah. I think it's one of those things yeah, where, makes sense. like, I think you're right because it is, you are showing copyrighted media. But at the same time, I think that no, like no game developer ever went after it and they've realized the benefit over yeah. the, you know, it's advertising. the cons. Uh, it's free free advertisement, but but advertising a movie by watching the movie uh, doesn't really. But it feels translate. weird because because we know that you can't, you know, you wouldn't download a car, you know. Yeah, I mean some some I YouTube would. or <laughs> Twitch streamers or whatever do like watch alongs where they don't show the movie, but they say I'm starting at you press play on Netflix or whatever it is at this time, and then that's a form of the same thing. It's just yeah, they're not allowed to show the movie because. 
if they did, then you wouldn't have to have your own account. You wouldn't have to rent the movie on Amazon or whatever. So, reminds me of Rift Tracks. You guys watch Rift Tracks or no idea. Mystery Science Theater 3000? Yeah, I know what that is. I know what yeah. that is, but I've never watched yeah. either of them. Yeah. Oh, okay. With Patton oh, okay. Oswalt. Patton Oswalt was on the newer. Every time I hear someone yeah. say that, I always think Pat and Oswalt. Dude, it's Pat and, you know, it's Pat the, it's as a duo. well as it's both of them. Pat as well as Oswalt. It's Pat and Oz. Pat in addition to Oswalt. <laughs> it's General Patton. Uh, um, Rift Tracks is dope. <laughs> you should watch it. It's really fucking funny. I've put it on the TV, I'm pretty sure, before. It's the three guys that, like, you know, they talk about the, the shitty movie and make fun of it. Have you heard True. of it, Dan? I think so. Okay. Sounds familiar. Maddie put me onto it. If you don't know about Rift Tracks, there's a YouTube channel. They're a fucking hilarious. Uh, uh, what else? So... I want to talk about this. I put it in our uh, Discord thing the other Discord. day. Discord, but uh, Discord. Nvidia Discord. Check it GeForce. Out. Check it out. Now server had a like confidential list of games um, leaked, and it was kind of interesting because there's some stuff on there where it's like this definitely could be real. Some of it where it seems like why would it be on there if it wasn't real and like, it's just some random titles, and eventually they responded trying to do, like, damage control and uh, was pretty much like, it's... The company claims it's used only for internal tracking and testing and includes speculative titles, meaning they're trying to say they have no information about if any of these are actually going to be real. They're just trying to work on their back end and putting things in there and lists and titles of games that might happen why would they do a lot of games that's a good question because some of it too it gets weird where there were some like um code names that they used for some games some like xbox or microsoft titles that were um like there's here i'm looking at the verges article um says this title platinum was the internal name for bethesda's indiana jones game that showed up on the list there like why do you have an internal like code name in your NVIDIA GeForce Now list. But there's things like... Um, uh, what is it? Say? Demon Souls uh, listed. Final Fantasy 16. But there's like God of War. Um, Kingdom Hearts 4. Uh, <laughs> Plants vs. Zombies and Battle for Neighborville. Yeah. <laughs> um, like Bioshock 2022. <laughs> That's the hottest title on that uh, list. Uh, Bayonetta 3. <laughs> Crisis 4. Dragon Age 4. Uh, oh, that's, you know, it's coming, but... Earth Defense Force or 6. The, is the this renowned, like their Game Pass? The renowned, is that what now is? Well, unannounced. Sean can say that here in a second, but it just yes. gets weird where they have yep. like Fall Guys yes. 2. Like something like, why would you even have that there <laughs> when Fall Guys is a game where maybe they would just release expansions for? Yeah. Now, Sean, I, yeah, if you want to explain. I, I mean, no, I, I was just going to say that I think a lot of game developers do some weird shit. Like um, Sony, there's a, there's f- a port of Gears of War 3 on the PS3 that was never, ever released, but it was just a showcase to, s- to show what they could do with Unity on the PS3. That they could yeah, port they're, they're it or like, whatever. Yeah, we can do this, right? So PS3 I almost was wonder weird. if some of that is like, hey, we got we got uh, Kingdom Hearts running on PC and it looks fine, right? It works with these NVIDIA GPUs. Yeah, I mean, I will definitely say um, it's like a list of over 5,000 things. So yeah, it's so it not could like, just be like, here's what we think could work. Yeah, but speculative titles, like there's stuff in there like, yeah, Kingdom Hearts 4, I'm sure they're working on. They probably shouldn't be as a Kingdom Hearts fan. <laughs> Why? They should probably just have it stop because the story is so fucking convoluted. And <laughs> oh, okay. there's, there's no, That's right. there's no fucking me, yeah. rhyme or reason. You told me there was like I've, a two yeah. and a two and a half. I've played oh, yeah. all of them no. except for like a mobile no game. and sh- I don't know. When I... Played Kingdom Hearts 3, I was like, I don't know what's happening. But long story short, uh, yeah, I mean, I understand that. It just seems weird where there's some titles here that I feel like, why would they even have that listed yet? <laughs> Including Kingdom Hearts 4. Like, that's so out there that, yeah, I'm sure it's coming eventually, but what, are, what is Navi- NVIDIA doing on their back end that they've got stuff like that? Like Demon Souls for PC, they had Returnal listed, even though that just came out for PlayStation 5, like... That shouldn't be anywhere close. Yeah. But I don't know. This kind of stuff, I think, is always 
interesting because I mean everybody loves a uh, you know good good video game leak action. Good goss, yeah. But uh, yeah, I, hot goss. I, hot video game some goss. of this stuff. It sounds like I already know Sean's opinion, but some of this stuff is like, you know, What's like I said, opinion? some of it is weird that. It should even be on this list because what was the one I saw? Hell Divers. Do you guys ever play that game? No. Yeah, Hell Divers Two. Like that's not a game where I would consider that Hell Divers Two is coming out. Like I Hello? don't. Hello. Sorry. Uh, I just feel like that's such a weird thing to post on there. Where like, why do you have that when there's been like no real news about that? So. I don't so know. you're saying like weird in that like it could be like so bizarre that it's real? Or yeah, like, it's it's like not a triple A title where it's yeah. like oh Kingdom Hearts four they're gonna make that eventually just add it to the list like we'll you know for our testing or whatever. But yeah. for uh, my question is Steve is why would they make this list in the first place? For like for like board of directors well, like why would they make a list like no this? so it's it's on their back end of N Nvidia. GeForce Now, which, Sean, do you want to explain what it is since you've actually used it? Yeah, GeForce Now is like uh, NVIDIA's uh, streaming service, right? Uh, and it's kind of what allows you to uh, play a game through GeForce if you subscribe onto another device, like similar to Xbox uh, Cloud Pass or cl Game Cloud Pass, whatever yes, it's X. called. X. X. It was Cloud. X Cloud. I think they took away that, and it's just Game Pass with Cloud um yeah, but so I mean, it's essentially that same idea. Which is cool. But it it doesn't it stream only titles you own. Uh, no, you can you can stream. There's you can subscribe to, to stream oh, okay. games that you do not own. Um, but yeah, I mean, but it, yeah, if you own the game, it will stream it to another Nvidia device in your house for free. So you're playing Skyrim on yes. your Nvidia Shield on the couch, streamed yep. from your yes. computer. But there are games that are recognized to work with that technology if it's labeled yeah. as geforce now ready or whatever yeah, it's called it's not every steam game but some of your steam games Guys, will do it i found the game for holy potatoes a weapon shop geforce now there's a question mark in it what game potato shop holy potatoes uh, with an exclamation point and then it says a weapon shop with a question mark and an exclamation what point. game are you talking about the game on the list. It's on this list, bro. Potato oh. shop. Okay. Holy potatoes. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying is like there's some weird stuff on there where like Hell Divers <laughs> Potato is a Farmer popular Simulator. game, but it's not I just been diving in a the AAA list. title that I feel like would make any sense to just have in your... No. It's probably just capable. Idaho, just, Idaho like Simulator. As long as they got Lawn Simulator on there. I don't know that... Yeah, of course. Power Washer Simulator, guys. If you haven't played Power Washer Simulator, let me play get it. on that shit. Get on Lawn that Simulator shit. though. It's kind of one of the dude. One all those guys, simulator games. One of the guys I uh, talked to, uh, he <laughs> he had um, uh, renamed like Adobe Illustrator in Discord to show up as he was playing a game called Big Cock Simulator. <laughs> yeah, dude. Was it Squirrel or yeah, something? Yeah, Squirrel talking. Dude, I saw that. And I, I think I took a screenshot of dude, it. Dude, it's so fucking funny. <laughs> Because I thought it was really funny. Yeah, dude, I was like, dude, you've been playing that for like three days. And he was like, oh, shit, I left the Illustrator open. <laughs> dude, I swear I have a screenshot of it. I swear to God. It was so, that made me laugh so hard. Because it Big. was just like, I thought it was maybe something he, like, you know, added as a joke. Yeah, here we go. You're playing Big Cock Simulator. Big Cock Simulator. Yeah, just Big Chicken. Oh, my God. How do you change that it's yeah, when actually, you play a game it yeah. shows up on you can turn it off but yeah, yeah, yeah you link it to your like steam or whatever and it'll show no, no i get I, that i think he just but how did he change it to that name i don't know what do you was mean he actually playing big cock simulator no he was he told me it was a Do an adobe product i want to say it was illustrator but oh, you, i think what? you can rename like chrome to be something else and show up in steam that way or in discord that way I'm, but that's dude, a real I game, that was though. So funny! <laughs> Big, I thought that was so funny. Well, I'm pretty sure. Nah, dude. I mean, there's no. I. <laughs> Steve's like, I played it. I mean, I haven't played it. <laughs> I've been playing it since day one. <laughs> yeah, a, Big Cock Speaking Simulator of, is a game on on, on this. Oh, it, it is. is. A yeah, game. that's what I'm saying. So, oh, oops, sorry. Uh, it doesn't exist anymore. I was laughing really hard the other day because when I pulled up my my buddy pulled up his Steam like friends playing. And one of his friends was playing something called Wanking Simulator. <laughs> which is an actual game on Steam. I feel like the first um, 
like big simulator title was Goat Simulator. Yeah, that I, because Goat Simulator I'm pretty was sure like awesome. Lawn Simulator is the same company that made Goat Simulator because it's like all the same font. And like, isn't yeah, there? There's the, a bunch of Farm them, Simulator. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. I found yeah, it. It's on simulator here. Simulator 19. Add to my wish list. You know, it's coming soon. Well, we kept telling me, "Oops, sorry." It's, um, a, it's listed as adult <laughs> only, but I'm just seeing. Uh, it's just such a good joke. People play because it's chicken. so minor, and it's in such a like hard place <laughs> to see. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. Um, I got I got a t- I got something completely off topic here, but it's a topic for another, you know, topic. Go ahead. Um, fucking shoot. So I don't know if you guys heard uh, that a lot of people kind of freaking out about the fact that uh, Sony changed um, the heat sink in the PS5. Oh, yeah. Did Austin Evans do something about it? Yeah. Hey, guys, this is Austin. Hey, guys, well, this is Austin. Go ahead. Why is anyone freaking out about it? Because it's, it's about yeah. half the weight and yeah. it has less metal. So it, in theory, would be worse at drawing heat away. Yeah. I mean, well, I'll say. A couple things. Which one, one you got, bro? If it's on the video we just watched. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will say that I saw this like forever, or not forever ago, but when it was announced, and I was kind of like, why are they doing that? Um, I kind of just assumed it had to be like a parts thing because they yeah. just didn't say anything about it. But um, I, I haven't seen anyone like freaking no, out no, i saw co- quite a few people being like what the fuck like what is sony doing why are they doing this why would they so well, well, okay so cost. the chassis is fuck different the chassis is different so if you have a <laughs> ps5 with the new heat sink you would not be able to swap the heat sink from the old ps5 into your new one um two apparently there are three different fan models that have come out with the ps5 which really doesn't seem to have any impact on performance um which I just thought was interesting that I think it has to be a supplier issue with the fans. That's why they're using three different manufacturers. Um, but the heat sink, I was like, well, it looks worse. Like, yeah, I the mean, that's first what... heat sink was huge, dude. They had a lot of metal on it. It looked really nice. That was ridiculous in the original teardown video they came out with before the PS5 came out. Everyone was like, that heat sink is yeah, a beast. And it's like half the weight now. Yeah. And so uh, Gamers Nexus uploaded... Um, probably a half an hour long video. I watched it the other day um, and they were doing some testing and he was very adamant that because there's no uh, sensor on the die to read from like you can with a computer, um, that their, their testing could be off because if you attach these heat sensors to the die itself and you do the same thing to the other PS5, you could be placing it like a micro hair yeah, I mean- difference in, in where that placement is. Um, which could cause in, invalid readings. But essentially, they did a bunch of testing. They took parts from the OG PlayStation and put you know the heat sink from the new one on and vice versa and then did a comparison between the base models and... With the Franken console, as they called yeah, it. he did call it the Franken yeah. console. Um, but what he, he found did. was that... And, and this was in conjunction with um, another group... Uh, uh, what's it called? Foundry Digital Foundry? Digital Foundry. Yeah, yep. They're badass. Um, yeah, and they they did a bunch of testing between the two models, and there was they were like, yeah, there's literally no performance difference. And then Gamers Nexus pulled some uh, numbers for uh, heat readings, and what was interesting was that the memory was running a bit cooler on the new model, but the CPU was within like five degrees it hotter. Was four. It was four or five degrees hotter on the model with the new heat sink. Degrees Celsius, Bro, by I'm the way. four or five degrees hotter right now. It's hot in here. Yeah, yeah. it is. Um, I'm going to text Maddie to turn. That's a lot in <laughs> Celsius, actually. He was saying, like, yeah, it's really Celsius, not a huge it's difference. It's not a huge difference. It was, like, 65 or, I don't know, 66 degrees versus 70 degrees which in yeah. Celsius. It was somewhere in there. Um, which is still under 100 degrees Celsius, right? That's what, what you... Boiling want. point of yeah. water? Yeah, I mean, you don't want it to be that hot. Well, but. yeah, but that's what I'm saying is that, I mean, <laughs> most most CPUs can run at... Yeah, for sure. But not for very long, and you should not run it at 100 degrees Celsius, saying, but they're w- able to with, withhold that. Yeah. No, I mean... I swear I just saw something about Kelvin and Fahrenheit temperatures. It was like 0 to 100 Fahrenheit... 
uh, like cold, really cold, really hot. And it was like zero to 100 Kelvin. It's like dead, dead. Yeah. Zero <laughs> Kelvin is, is literally no, no energy in a hundred Kelvin. In what you're looking at. Kelvin is. That was way what it different. was, right? Yeah. And then it was like zero, zero C like cold. And then it was like a hundred C dead. It was really funny. I wish I, I wish I could find yeah, it. If you try and talk temperature, I like, I like the dead measurement. I know, <laughs> dead, dead. <laughs> like, is there any level of Kelvin that's not? Yeah, Kelvin shitty? is two hundred and seventy three degrees lower than Celsius. Oh, so zero you and a hundred is still like negative one hundred and seventy three yeah. Celsius is freezing. Yeah. Yeah. If we got a fucking big brain over here, guys, bro, <laughs> dude. <laughs> fucking big brain, Steve. Man. Rocket scientist. I'm just saying, if you had to <laughs> do some chemistry class, uh, still need that show. Ask a rocket yeah, scientist. It's not. Uh, I'm just saying, <laughs> Psych- four degrees Celsius. I don't know. I 1.7 is like about what you would do for Celsius to Fahrenheit. So I don't know the math, but it's really like that's a kind of a big difference. But he was saying, performance wise, it doesn't matter. So like, you shouldn't go out of your way looking for one or the other because Sony just like stealth released this kind of where it's a different skew, right? Or the like model number is different, but it really isn't like a new revamp or anything where every once in a while, um, people like with the switch, they'll come out with like a 1001 model motherboard or something. That's not any different performance or anything, but it's, they just put out a different, uh, version pretty much. And, uh, I don't, think it matters is probably the moral of Sean's story, but he's probably on Twitter, so... No. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, no, I just think it was... What I guess what I was trying to say no. was... No. I wasn't on Twitter. I was fucking reading reading no. an email I shouldn't be reading right now. Yeah. Anyways. Um, uh, sorry. I, I'm, I guess I was just trying to get at the fact that, like, I did see some people online kind of freaking out, and it there's no need to go out and replace your PlayStation or look for another PlayStation... Like that has the new heatsink or has the old heatsink or overpay because you think you're going to get better performance out of one versus the other. They're fucking identical, basically. I think the biggest problem that this co- like that this introduces is the fact that if you go to get your PlayStation repaired, they may not have the parts for that model or vice versa <laughs> because the chassis is completely different. You can't fit another cooler in, you know. Yeah. And I think that's kind of stupid, but also I bet it's because of supply and demand. And they probably had to figure out a way to make a cooler that worked just as well using less metal. They probably don't intend for you to rip well, the no. casings off of these. I will things. say though, with the PS Five, like clean they're, them. they're yeah, but they also <laughs> have oh, really re- replaceable <laughs> side panels. Like they, it doesn't void the warranty. Uh, to I, I think it might. I mean to tear it apart, but the the side panels come off. Like they made it that way so that I think the idea is you can get like new ones for. Yeah, limited edition. Oh, and if you were, if you were like to that. take yeah. if you were to take the cosmetic off yeah. the CPU, you are going to void the warranty. Yeah, which sure I also so. found was interesting. I did not know Sony did this. They use uh, instead of uh, like a thermal paste, they use liquid metal to cool. Yeah, their, that's wild. Uh, CPUs, which I thought was kind of interesting. I didn't. I did not know yeah. that. I will found that out in that video. Definitely uh, say I wonder if, like you said, is it supply? Like I don't know really, but uh, now that they've been out for almost a year what 10 months or something i'm wondering if they realize they did not need as big of a heat sink either like you said it's probably a different design where it works just as well but i'm thinking are they like hey this we could do something different and it's not going to make any difference performance wise but now they have all this data they're getting from bajillion users and they decided they don't need to uh yeah a bajillion there's only like five playstation fives out there honestly I think it's the fact that they're trying to lower the material cost on it. And, you know, even cutting a little bit, yeah. making well, it a little as bit many as slower they're making, or a little bit hotter. And, and they did say that um, that Sony was not making any money off of sold consoles. Yeah. And that's the reason why they bumped the games up to $70. Because that's the only way they were going to make money on this next round. Yeah, and that's, what? They don't make well, a dollar. Any way they, they can save on, on, on cost. Uh, most consoles what? are sold at a loss or at like... Basically, they're getting a small cut of whatever you're paying, yeah, and they make all the money off of games. But I did Sony, not know yeah, that. But Sony, being ridiculous, like when the PS3 came out, it was way too expensive, and nobody wanted it until the price came down. And 
I think they knew they couldn't do that again, obviously, with the PS4. But with the 5, they wanted to compete, and Microsoft... Did you know they waited until Microsoft put their price out, and then they came, right? Am I, I had that right. Pretty sure. I think so. Pretty sure we talked about that on... Or I talked about that on Debuff like a year ago. Old, yeah. But uh, well, old Debuff. Retro. 1.0. <laughs> Vintage. But, uh, I think what they were doing was they wanted to not fuck themselves again and decided to figure out how much Microsoft was going to do. And then they were like, okay, we can. And the digital version coming out at 400, that's got to be insane. Because, yeah, it's cheaper for them to make because it doesn't have a disk drive. But is that really cutting down the price a hundred dollars i don't really know i'm not a computer uh, hardware man i don't trust sony all right well i don't trust sony i trust the good old microsoft I, i'm just saying yeah. i think that they were like we have to do this because the freaking uh uh xbox series s is also extremely cheap so yeah yeah they had to make I've sure. honestly considered getting one just for having on the tv but i'm not going to do it because that means i have to get game pass for I'm telling you, Game Pass. I have, is I have Game for Pass PC. for PC, but I don't want to pay the extra. If you have it for PC, then you have it nope. for Xbox. Because it's only Ultimate Game Pass. What is Ultimate? Ultimate Game Pass is what gives you the PC version. Mm, you have a so backwards you could buy card. like regular Game Pass. You have it backwards. What? There's a PC only version. No, and then there's both. Because I originally I <laughs> got <weird>. the um, <laughs> I got it for that? the yeah. Xbox only. <laughs> I don't know what just fell Dude, out of the air. Piece like, of hair yeah. was just like, mm. yeah. No, there's console okay. and PC, but I think, it- yeah, yeah. So I originally I had it on console, and then I had to upgrade to Ultimate Game Pass, which also gave it to me for PC. Yeah, we no. got it just for PC, so, not for console. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. It's, yeah, ten dollars well, for console or special. PC. I think I want to say the PC one was new, but I don't remember, so I won't hold that. But uh, uh, yeah. I have two things. I know. That I fucking I talk love about, it, and I want you guys to decide. Paper Towels or Link's okay. Awakening? I think I'd rather hear you talk about Link's Awakening. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck paper you towels. talk about Paper Towels for. It's really tiny. I'm, I'm just really say tiny. it then. I don't know. Oh, I, mean, I guess I'm curious, I was, but that, See, that's the point. You know what I I'm guess saying? I was the only now. one. I wanted to hear the, about the, the Paper Towels, to be honest. Um, the fucking thumbnail of us like, Paper Towels? Paper Towels? ShamWow? Link's Awakening? Uh, yeah, leave me out of that clickbait. All right. <laughs> paper Awakening? <laughs> so, Maddie Link's got, Towels? <laughs> Maddie got... Uh, t- towels awakening. Uh, Maddie went and got paper towels, and uh, like we use them a lot. And she got uh, by accident. She got the ones that are the full sheet. You oh, know how they you have, gotta the have full the te- sheet. You gotta have them. Your make a size the, and the half sheet the, tear. The make a size, dude. Yep, dude. The full sheet is so extra. Like you feel like like <laughs> this is why the with climate change like. I mean, it I is agree so with you. much paper towel. I, I know that at the end of the day, you're still using the same amount. Okay, kind of. But no, like, I mean, sometimes dude, you, you just pull need one a little down. One. It feels like a fucking like hand towel. What's so funny is you say that, and I almost every <laughs> single time I pull something out of the make a size one, I take two and I fold it in half. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I always just try and get one and end up getting two. But dude, I'm telling you, maybe it was the type she got, but I was like. I feel like I should keep using it because there's so no, much No, put it in here. your pocket, dude. Sometimes you get one because you just need to do like a little wipe well, up or something. Well, I get yeah. that, but I feel like... Uh, you know there are people who clean their paper towels and reuse them? Well, just use towels then is the moral of that I story. I have seen but, that, but, but like it felt so wasteful. Like, I mean, yeah, have it you is. Guys, when's the last time you guys had the full sheet ones? No, we always buy the, the You the always half buy the half sheet. But every time I'm at a place where there is the full one, when you go to tear it and I'm, it doesn't tear it the halfway, I'm like, oh, shit. I got to get the full sheet. Yeah, which I just I felt bad every time I used one because I was like, this is so – like, we have them now still. It's good for dinner. Like, to have for dinner is yeah, great. Yeah, because it's like a <laughs> napkin. But, like, when you're, like, you, like, did the dishes and there's some water on the counter, you're like, I'm, I'm going to wipe up this tiny little puddle with a full sheet. Yeah, see, I mean, that's where the environmentally conscious people would tell you you should be using an actual towel. So, Daniel, and, I mean, we, we get we could talk about paper towels all day. I know. Um, but... That's why, bought, that's why I brought it up. She bought reusable paper towels. Which no, don't I, say I don't that. like. Honestly, dude. No, like, hold on. When you guys got those, really I was like, I don't want. So, I feel weird. Here's using the thing. Here's it. The Let thing. me say two things before you say that. I agree with you, and also, I don't like 
that you and her were calling them reusable paper they're towels. They're just fucking towels. They're, they're just, just little <laughs> towels <laughs> yeah. that she wraps they're up. Just, they're, they're not, not paper. reusable paper <laughs> they're really, towels. They're really thin towels. But I like them because of when I want to clean up a spill that's just water, yeah. I use that. Yeah. Or if I want to dry my hands, I use that. But we have the paper towels it's underneath. called a washcloth. <laughs> Which negates the whole fucking point, I feel no, no. like. No, Because we don't use, use as much paper towels because uh, we're yeah, using re- reusable ones that are yeah, but it's like, not paper. We still got them, though. If you need I them, mean, we still got them right here. Look, <laughs> yes, but well, those here's are the thing. Is there's sometimes where like, there's a mess where you don't want to stain a towel or whatever and use them. And again, yes. that's us being not as conscious as maybe others. I have friends that don't have paper towels ever. They have reusable napkins. They don't put... Tra- like little trash bags in the trash can. They just, you know, put it all in a big bag because that's what the garbage people want you to have. You know, at least one bag to contain it all. And, like, that's cool, but unfortunately, um, I haven't made it to that level of, uh, you know, galaxy brain yet. Yeah, so. Dude, ascending to, yeah. like, a level of, like, you know, I yeah. I just, I don't, but I do... Not mind the little reusable. I recycle little towels because they're all sitting there. There's like a hundred of them wrapped up. You just grab them, use it. But um, yeah, I mean, paper towels are still pretty fire. Maddie uses a uh, metal and glass straws. Does Danielle yeah. use that? Yeah, dude. First of all, fuck metal straws. They are like ice fucking cold if you use them. I don't yeah. use straws, and they're noisy <laughs> as fucking they're shit, sh- dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> are we? Are we twelve? No, I'm serious. Twelve. Glass still straws, using straws. Like Maddie used to get in bed with them when she would get Those a coffee. Those scare me. Why don't you just drink out of the like, cup? Ee- just drink out of the cup. Ee- <laughs> Every, and it's like, it's so fucking I feel loud, like you're getting dude. glass shavings into your drink. <laughs> I know, do you re- dude. Do you remember Danielle's like big blue uh, wine bottle that she used for water, bo- like as a water bottle? It was like made for like pouring a whole wine bottle in yeah, to keep to take cold. for like picnics. That. It was before this water, bo- water bottle, water bottle she has now. Water bottle? Water bottle. Uh, yeah. Before Maybe. she had... Okay. Uh, water bottle. She used to <laughs> you remember carry around you a metal straw inside of it that went basically right to the top. Yes. She couldn't put the That's lid right. on She couldn't put the lid on, and it, you, she had to pull it out every single time she wanted to use it. And, dude, in the car, in, if that thing is in the fucking car with that metal... It's, like, vibrating the entire time, dude. <laughs> Exactly like Sean that. Sean got so mad. Dude, about I would, it. <laughs> I would put my hand over it while I was driving because Dude, I, it drives me fucking it, bonkers. Yes, I completely agree. I love her to death, but like, fucking a. The, some of those straws are so fucking loud. They're very loud. And, dude, just glass straws. It, I, I'm like, what, I, what if I accidentally bite on it? Why yeah. would you bite a glass well, straw? Well, no, but, I know, but it's like, the same what thing if, as like, a, I'm not going to bite this. Yeah, I know, but, but what if you have a knee jerk reaction accidentally? Ouch, <laughs> and and these are like this is way less than you know you bite a straw goes inside your mouth this is the on the lip well i mean this is good, important it, shit it's good for the environment dude, okay debuff. dude so what do you got about the links, internet links paper about towels and glass straws let's bro. hear about uh, links, links awakening. awakening i finished yeah. rhyme last links week awakening. i started playing links awakening it's fucking awesome yeah i uh, uh i would yeah. say like Eight or nine out of ten, definitely recommend. Yeah. Uh, but caveat, I would say my only This is con, the one out of ten. This part? is the one that I took away. I find that the uh and I think Sean and I talked about this, it might have been Discord, but go check the Discord and join it. Uh nice plug. They don't hold your hand. At all, no. and to the point where I'm like, I would like some hand holding. No, so I would like you to tell me what to do. <laughs> it's because well. it was a remake of the original <laughs> Game, Game Boy game. Because it did. Which, I get Game that. Boy, not color. Yeah. But this is a fucking complete rehaul. Give me some more pointers. Uh, I mean, so I will say, no. Yeah, yeah. two things about that. No. Uh, one no. Uh, no <laughs> mostly, it's a you're a fucking no. idiot. Uh, I feel like a lot of Zelda games don't hold your hand, though. Like, almost none of them tell you exactly what to do. They might say you need to do this. Skyward Sword okay. looks You've been talking to the owl? Fuck. Yeah. But he's... Dude, he's vague as fuck. Yeah, but it's a little bit of a hint. He's like, hey, man, maybe you should go somewhere near water. And you're like, okay... Wh- I'm on an wa- island, yeah, bitch. <laughs> there's some water everywhere, fucking asshole. Like, tell me. But that's... I feel like... Uh, I always preferred the top-down... Zelda games personally and I feel like a lot of those because there's much less I don't want to say there's less to explore but with the 3D ones it feels like you have to be looking around a lot like 3D environments more stimuli 
of a guiding path where the 2D ones, I feel like you see so much in every like section you're in. This one doesn't go screen by screen like the old ones. But you know what I'm saying, either way. Uh, so I think it maybe feels like that, but there's really not... You can't just explore everywhere. The, yeah, you say you, there's a lot of water, but like go... there's locations you're locked okay, out of. Yeah, I, I, obviously I'm exaggerating, but like... Did, did you ever play the NES one? <laughs> I know. No. That one sucks. Play that one. I'm bad at games. And play that one and tell me that Here's you what get do. some fucking... I'm not going to play that because I am already having trouble with this. I, the funny thing is... The is NES I'll, one, you just start. Yeah, you're just like, like yeah. go, go yeah. get out. <laughs> like, get the I, will get, I, will, I will do a bunch of stuff and I'll have like a good like couple hours, like a couple, you know, good runs of like, okay, I can figure this out. And then I'll find myself watching like Austin John plays and he's like, oh, well, so what you do here? And it's like, fuck, why am I back here watching this? Or like IGN. I There's just a lot of things that you kind of have to keep track of. And like... There was just, for example, there was this one part where you come out of a dungeon and there's this ghost that's following you. And you're like, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this ghost? And so I try, I really <laughs> tried my hardest. I was like, let me look around. Can I? somebody tell me what to do? Take him to his grave, bud. You, and so I went to the graveyard and like none of the stones, you know, did anything. And so I was finally like, where do you take a ghost? He said, take me to the graveyard. And there's like this like offshoot graveyard that's like around the way. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, I would have never found that. Like it would have taken me hours. And so I finally was like, all right, Austin John's like, tell me what to do. I, uh, I mean, dude, I, I hear you. I hear you. But also you kind of have to think about it from that perspective of like the game is old. Number one, it's short. Number yes. two, And they made games short and hard. <coughs> We made them longer to by being yeah, hard. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, because because to to increase play time and so you didn't fucking feel like you wasted your money. So, I I think that that is still one of the most popular Zelda titles in my opinion. Like a lot of people love that game. Um, the new or the old? The Both. old one, but yeah, the remake essentially it's the same exact game. Uh, just a reminder that the original version you had A and B, and to equip anything, including your sword and shield. You had to go into the menu and equip it to A or B. So every time you wanted yeah, you to use a different weapon. item, you had to go and replace your sword or shield, and then you, use it. I think you have to do that now. Uh, you have Hold more. On. You have more buttons. You have more buttons, and even like the wing or whatever that lets you jump or run, whatever. Okay, it is, no, no, no. That's its own button right, that used right, to be an right. item. Like I'm just saying, there are things that uh, probably would have sucked. Oh, my computer died playing it that long ago. Sean froze. But uh, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> there are even things like that that I feel like it would have just been, like, ridiculous back then that now you just, you know, you kind of roll with it. But Yeah. I, I, I hear you on your frustrations, but I guess I feel like it's a little bit justified uh, because it is such an old game and because they wanted to keep the, the true game. You guys are better gamers, you know? I'm a no, bad, dude, I'm a, I, you know, easy mode gamer. I well, look up shit. I, mean, I won't lie to you, man. I look up shit all the time. I have gamer. had to look shit up for that game. Danielle, I made her play that game because I was like, you might like this. And she got all the way to the end and she also had to use a guide. Like, it, it they're not easy, but also I think that kind of stretches your brain a little bit when you do f figure out, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do, right? And you feel good when you do. So, yeah, like the rooster part. Yeah. Like, I was like, how I don't know how I could have figured that out, to be honest with you. Because you go up there, you go to the mountain, and, and there's like a guy who has chickens, and he's like, I wish there was a chicken that still, you know, flew. But you have to push over the thing, the statue. Yeah. Like, I would have never put that together. You would have. <laughs> I'm you not, you know what I'm saying? I'm not on that gamer level. I'm not level. a brain genius. I'm not that gamer gingert level. It's got some three head. Uh, All right. Last thing I will say is that once you're done with that, uh, you should go play A Link Between Worlds on the 3DS. A Link Between Worlds? Yeah, Wolds. I think it uses like the same-ish map or something like that. I don't know. I didn't play uh, through uh, Link's well, I've, Awakening. I've got, oh, no, I think it's Link to the Past. I've got 90 other games. Never mind. Uh, forget what I said. Hold but on. It's a good in game. The, in the I, play dude, I rented later. out my first game. To who? But not for, for real money, but... Uh, Maddie's like college friend was over here yesterday and uh I told her husband about like I just bought these games, you know, I'm such a nerd. And 
He was like, we bonded on Switch months and months ago. And he was like, dude, you got Spyro? And I was like, dude, take it. I, I'll play it, but like have it for a couple months. So I rented out my first uh, Blockbuster cool, game. Nice, That's dude. pretty cool, Blockbuster. I'm making a profit. Yeah, Mason's Blockbuster. Blockbuster Emporium. Blockbuster Switch. The only thing is it's it was sealed, but I would have I would have opened it already. To, I, I would open it to play it. Well, if you want to play it in yeah. the, before you get it back, Danielle I, has it. I got it for Danielle. Yes. Okay. Yep. And, well, uh, I'll probably she see She played him. it a bunch, and then she said she used to play it. Yeah, she she liked it. She just, I think, it's, got tired yeah, of, it's, of the collective. I like yeah, the game. old. I like the old Spyro games. So. This is just like all the old platformers, where it's like, "Hey, here's a million things to get. Have fun." Yeah. It's yeah. only fun for so long anymore. Here's a big open area. Go get everything. Dan, yeah. thanks for joining us. Uh, if you want to see more about Dan, uh, I will put his Twitch link somewhere on screen and in the description. Twitch.tv slash Deputy Danger Dan, if you are listening. Triple, Triple D. D. Uh, Deputy Danger <laughs> Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. De- uh, dives. Thanks for joining us, dude. Just it's good dives. to see your face. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. It was good to see you guys' face, Hey, too. man, Dan. Really later, happy. man. Hope we, hope we yeah, can do man. this more. Oh, yeah. Later, later, man. Man All right. me. Sean, bye-bye. Sean. Bye. Ma- Mason. Bye. Thanks for listening. Debuff is hosted by me, Steve Skeels, edited and mixed by Mason Carlton. Follow us on Instagram at DebuffPod. That's Debuff, P-O-D. Thanks for listening. I'll see you in the next one.